Okay, basically, just what you want to do is change some of the sizes on here. So right now, I think it's the root. No, it's probably the back. Box Collider. Okay, see this middle part? It's like, it's this huge box and it shouldn't be that big. So I'm just gonna make it smaller and I think, oops, not the balance. Oops, all right. Make it smaller like that. Center it somewhere in the middle. Mm, just like that. Put it in the middle. Okay, that looks a little bit oops, that looks a little bit better. The arms are kind of big, that's fine. The head is usually really small, so we should probably take care of that too. Say something like um, sphere collider right here, radius. Do this, make it big. Um, I believe it's X. Okay, so much better, much more like a rig. So. Let's uh let's just go ahead and get rid of character controller and let's get rid of the zombie behave and let's get rid of this and we'll see it just collapse the character should just collapse in place I don't know I haven't tested it okay so let's just see if it just collapses right in place And it does. Okay, it just collapses. Okay. Let's try it one more time. Let's raise her up a little bit and let's just play around with the angle so we can create something really funny. Let's see if she collapses to the ground. Boom. All right. So there you have it. Ragdoll physics. Really simple to set up. Um, one thing you have to be aware of is if you're connecting it to a rig, uh, just like this character. I connected this character to a rig. Basically, you don't want the rigid body to coinc you know collide with the um, character controller that will happen basically all you do is put them on different layers and you make the rigid body the um, the ragdoll kinematic okay so the ragdoll has to be kinematic to, and uh, not colliding with the character controller pretty simple to set up Yeah.